All right, and here he is. Join us. Look at him in the Indians hat. What a fine choice there. Tight end Harrison Bryant. Harrison, great to see you, man. How you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing very well. It's been a pleasure getting to know you this offseason. Excited for our fans here on Browns Live. Meet the rookies presented by Man Can to get to know you as well. Let's just go way back to a young Harrison Bryant. What sports did you play growing up? Um, growing up, I was a, a big baseball guy. Um, played a little basketball and then really in high school found, found the love for football. And that's when I kind of transitioned my, my main focus to football was in high school. All right, but as a youngster uh, on the on the diamond, what position did you play? Who was your hero? Who was your baseball hero growing up? A um, little third base, a little first base, but all the way up, I was a super All right, and, and then you decide in high school it's going to be football for you. When did you know that was really, that was the spot and that was the sport that you had a chance to accomplish something great, which you certainly have? Um, really not until after my junior year of high school. Um, I made the transition over to tight end, and then really after the first few games, my senior year of high school, I really knew that um, I was pretty good at tight end, and then uh, it worked out for me. So how did that recruitment process go for you? How did you end up at Florida Atlantic, and what was the decision behind that that, that brought you to FAU? Um, in high school, wasn't very highly recruited. I uh, was committed to Samford University, a FCS school, to uh, to play defensive end. And their OC went over to FAU, and he called me and asked me if I would like to play tight end about two weeks before signing day. And um, I said, of course. And FAU was my only FBS offer, and, and that's really how I ended up there. So does he, is he, you know, when he get drafted, and you, we'll talk about the Mackey Award and all that in the 1,000-yard season, does he say, hey, Remember when I told you, come on over here and play some tight end? That's worked out pretty well. Yeah, still pretty well. My tight end the past three years, uh, he went trick it, but he still is there and, and just how proud of me and uh, him for really giving me that opportunity. What did it mean to you to be the first non-Power 5 conference tight end to win the Mackey Award last year, which is regarded, that is recognized as the best tight end in the nation? Um, you know, it was an it was, uh, amazing accomplishment. Uh, obviously, uh, great coaching staff, great teammates, and a lot of hard work went into it. But uh, just to be able to accomplish that, not only for myself, but my teammates and, and just that university, um, you know, did a lot for me. It was a it was a great accomplishment, and it was a really fun year last year, winning conference championship and and picking up that award. And not only that, going over a thousand yards, something a tight end hadn't done since two thousand and thirteen. When you sit back and think about that, does that kind of boggle your mind a little bit? Yeah, it uh, it it kind of blew my mind. Actually, in the conference championship game, uh, it was it was after halftime, and I I was out of the game and. Somebody on the sideline said only I was like three yards short of a short of a thousand. So they were about to throw me back in to to get a few more yards. And Coach Kiffin was like, just catch the ball and run out of bounds. But uh, come to find out a few seconds later, I actually already had the thousand yards. So uh, definitely a, a cool accomplishment, and you know a lot of hard work went into it. A lot of hard work. That's pretty cool though that they were going to say, let's get you in there and get you that catch to get you over a thousand. Yeah, he was like, just go in. I'm going to um, give you a play. Just just get the three yards and just jump, dive out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> so you make this transition now to the NFL. And listen, I've talked to a lot of people, even Austin Hooper, a two-time Pro Bowler in your room. And he said, that's one of the toughest transitions because you need to know everything. You need to be a part of all the protection meetings. You need to be involved in the run game. And you need to also know all the passing game concepts. You really have to know everything that's going on as a tight end and you haven't had the opportunity to get on the field. So how is kind of from the mental standpoint, how has this gone for you this year? Um, so far this all seems uh, really good um, with the Zoom meetings, uh, with Coach Petzing and all the other tight ends. Uh, me and Nate Whiting, the other rookie tight end, we, we meet extra with him after. So two hours a day, usually Monday through Wednesday, we're meeting. Um, with Coach Petzing, and uh, it's been really good. Like you said, got to know the passing, run, the protection. So you really got to know um, know every formation because with certain personnel, you can end up lining up anywhere on the field. 
Absolutely. You could be in line. You could be in the slide. You could be in the backfield. You could be all over the place. This is a very tight and friendly offense. And I think that's why so many people were excited to see the Browns get you here in the fourth round of the 2020 draft. And our fans were excited and they've used hashtag Browns live. And we've got questions for you, Harrison, from our fans. Let's get to the first one right now from Thomas it says playing at FAU in the warm weather. What will you do to adjust to the cold weather games in Cleveland? Um, I've only played one game, maybe. I mean, it, it, it was nothing like the cold uh, it'll be here, but uh, it was a pretty chilly game, and I felt like I had a good game. And for me, really, it's, it's not going to be a difference. Uh, you know, no sleeves. Uh, just go out there and, and tough it out and, and play ball. And listen, one of your best games took place in the state of Ohio against the Ohio State Buckeyes. I know that was a big one for you, and a lot of people think that really puts you on the map going six for 79 against the Buckeyes. Yeah, uh, so it was beautiful, but uh, like you said, it was uh, for me, um, you know, talent evaluators, that's the, that's the first game they're going to put on against one of the best teams in the country. So I knew I had to go out and uh, play very well, uh, start off the game a little slow, but uh, end it with a, a really good game. All right, let's get one more fan question in here for Harrison from Ben. If you could have one ability or attribute from any current or former NFL tight end, what would it be? Um, I would definitely have to say, um, probably Gronk with just his, his playmaking ability. Uh, you know, he, all the big games that you see the Patriots in, he's always there making a, a huge clutch play or, you know, a play for them to win Super Bowl. So, you know, just to have that, uh, that clutch play, um, just have that playmaker ability and, uh, make him consistent like he does would be huge. We certainly hope that that would come to fruition. I think that'd be great for everybody, for you and the Browns and Browns fans alike. Uh, final question for you, Harrison, is when you look at this schedule, I know, look, everybody's excited about the first game to get their first NFL experience, but is there anything that you're looking forward to? You've heard about the rivalry between the Browns and the Steelers. That's week 17. That could be a game with big implications at first energy. What do you? Is there anything that's jumped out to you or had a personal meaning to you on this schedule? Um... Nothing really, uh, really just that first game and then obviously the first uh, home game. Uh, my high school coach, he actually played for this. He was drafted by the Steelers, so that'll mean a little something. We'll, we'll be, I'm sure, texting and talking before that game, but uh, he, he's on my side, so uh, he'll, he'll definitely be rooting for us. Absolutely. Week 17, the home finale, the finale of the season against Steelers. Hopefully that will be a big game this year. Harrison, we appreciate the time. Looking forward to getting to see you in person. Get out on the grass with your team and get ready for this 2020 season. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me.